Welcome to an example on determining the truth value of statements from a given true implication. In my safe is a sheet of paper with two shapes drawn on it in colored crayon. One is a square and the other is a triangle. Each shape is drawn in a single color. Suppose you believe me when I tell you that if the square is blue, then the triangle is green. What do you therefore know about the truth value of the following statements? Well, to begin, let's assume the given implication is in the form of if P then Q, where P equals the square is blue and Q equals the triangle is green. The implication if P then Q is true when P is false or Q is true or both P and Q are true. Let's list out the three implications that are true. So the first case is when both P and Q are true, which is the given implication of if the square is blue, then the triangle is green. And now let's consider the two implications where P is false. Let's first consider when P is false and Q is true. This gives us the implication if the square is not blue, then the triangle is green. This is a true implication. And let's also list the implication where both P and Q are false, which is also true. The implication is if the square is not blue, then the triangle is not green. Again, these three cases are true. The only false implication is when P is true and Q is false. The implication if the square is blue, then the triangle is not green is a false implication. And now see if we can use these three true implications to determine the truth value of the given five statements. So the first statement A, the square and the triangle are both blue. Looking at the first implication, if the square is blue, then the triangle is green, and therefore it's not possible for the square and the triangle to be both blue. Statement A is false. Statement B, the square and the triangle are both green. Looking at the three cases, the only implication that applies is implication two, where if the square is not blue, then the triangle is green. But knowing the square is not blue, is not enough information to determine that the square and triangle are both green, we cannot make a conclusion about statement two. Let's state not enough information. Statement C, if the triangle is not green, then the square is not blue. Notice this statement is in the form of if not Q, then not P, which is the contrapositive of the original implication if P, then Q. Remember the contrapositive has the same truth value as the original implication, which we know is true, and therefore the contrapositive is true. If the triangle is not green, then the square is not blue is true. Statement D, if the triangle is green, then the square is blue. This is the converse of the original implication, where this statement is in the form of if Q, then P. And the converse may or may not have the same truth value as the original implication. Just because we know if the square is blue, then the triangle is green is true, we cannot conclude that if the triangle is green, then the square is blue. We just don't have enough information. And then finally, statement E, if the square is not blue or the triangle is green. Notice we have an or statement here, or a disjunction statement, which is true when P or Q or both are true. Notice the square is not blue is true for case two and three, and the triangle is green is true in case one. So either the first statement or the second statement, so either the first or second statement is true, and therefore the disjunction is true. I hope you found this helpful.